Bid Defender, commonly known as one of the most popular paid antivirus products in the industry. So it was no surprise that when they launched a free version, it was met with a lot of excitement. And as we saw in our review, it did perform pretty well. A lot of time has passed since then, and it is 2015. So is Bitdefender Antivirus still a good choice for your PC? Let's find out. Since we have tested this product before, I'm not going to do a full review. What we'll be doing is mostly a link test to see how their web protection stacks up because that is one of their most important features, their cloud-based web prevention system. As you can see, we have Bitdefender loaded on this machine and we have it um, up to date. Now an important point to note is this is not a great antivirus for advanced users or people who need customizability. It is very basic and in a way kind of administrative and not at all customizable. It does not give the user any kind of options. In fact, it doesn't even give you the options to add exclusions or exceptions to the antivirus engine. So if you do have a false positive, you're stuck with it, and it is going to be removed regardless of what you want to do. So that, I think, is a major problem, and I think the reason why Bitdefender is not doing that, not giving very basic features in this product, is just so that they can promote their paid products, which is okay, but I would really hope that they'd put an exclusions option in this product, because without that, it is just a handicap product for me. But even then, it does have the real Bitdefender signatures, which are really good. So some basic users or some corporate users might still want to use this. So let's check out the web prevention capabilities. Now here we have uh, fresh malware links. Let's try them out and let's see how Bitdefender performs. Bitdefender Free is very light, so that is definitely a plus point. Here's our first malware link. And as you can see, Bitdefender Free Antivirus has blocked the page. Let's move to the second link. This is also being blocked. Now that is no surprise though, because uh, some of these have got pretty high detection ratios and Bitdefender is one of the best in the business when it comes to signatures. The third one is blocked as well, so let's proceed. Let's see if we can get at least one file through their web blocking shield. Nope. Another point for Bitdefender here. So far, so good. We're not seeing any malware going through the web prevention shield. That is really good news. Seems like this one is dead. So let's try out the next one. Finally, something that loads up at least. But from what I think, the malware here may have been replaced by something else. Yep, still might be some kind of malicious phishing website though. No way to verify that. But hmm, let's see if it tries to drop anything. I'm not seeing any kind of malicious activity here. So I guess that side is down too. server.exe, another dead link, once again dead, Hopefully we'll get this one to work at least, and it's blocked. So, so far, links have been either dead or blocked. So, 
No missiles for good defender. This is our last link. And let's see if it gets through. No. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a really quick test of Bitdefender. And uh, as we can see, in 2015, Bitdefender is still a very solid product when it comes to signature-based web prevention. So it's ideal for places where you don't want any kind of user intervention. If you're loading this in, in a system of your grandparents, let's say, or someone who is not at all familiar with computers and they just need some kind of protection that works and doesn't get in their way, and maybe some kind of protection that cannot be easily disabled by the user or bypassed, you probably want to install Bitdefender. It might also work in some kind of corporate environments where you just need good signature-based protection and you don't want any kind of alerts. But for a user like me, or for more advanced users who want more options and features in terms of both security and uh, other things, maybe some customizability, this product is not for you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button below, subscribe to the PC Security channel for more, and I'll be back with more videos. Stay informed, stay secure.